insert yep. bleep here. Yeah, no oh. doubt. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's, I mean, yeah, a lot of people have to. That's a hu- yeah. huge, huge. Yeah, there, there's some freedom. The boundaries are pushed out. And yep. some people, quite frankly, and you know who you are, you're going to take advantage of this. You're going to ride this freedom for as long as you can. And in 2022, it's not going to serve you well. Those that are disciplined, those that are going to show up and be more present than ever are yep. going to find that there's huge opportunities for you yep. because people, owners, uh, customers, people like that are going to take notice of the people that are exactly. plugging back in in a very meaningful, high integrity way. Both literally and figuratively take notice of you if they can actually see you yeah. if your camera is on. Yeah. Amen. I, you know, at first I thought it was maybe something that was just like, oh, people were uncomfortable. And now the more that I've done, because it's been almost two years now that I've been um, working almost, I, I mean, I want to say totally, but very remote, right? right? I've I don't even know countless zooms and teams. Yeah. I just like leave my camera on now. Yeah. You know, if the dog's interrupting it or, you know, somebody walks by in the background, whatever it is. So what? That's real life. That's, that's what it is. So, um, yeah. And we can get into that on another podcast, but I was going to say that some of those, those videos, those video conferences, I think to see people in their own space, to see Mm -hmm. their animals and so on and so forth. I, I find it to be a little bit m- even more intimate than face to face because you get a yeah. sense of, of, of who they are yeah, and exactly. what they're all about. So exactly. wake up, wake up, um, First point. increase your level of personal accountability, turn mm-hmm. your camera on and, and, and plug in, yep. you know, even, even more committed than you were before. Yep. Um, number two. Th- yeah. Number two, we had a conversation. So we joke about the age difference. There's 20 years between Adam and I. And um, for a lot of years, there's been this talk about urgent versus important. If you want to Google that, if you want to look that up online, there's lots of information about urgent versus important and so there's been i think we we said before the cameras went on a, a re-emergence yeah an emerging trend yeah, even yeah. though it's an old concept yep it, it, it yeah go ahead 20 2020 and 2021 put that back into the spotlight real quick and yeah. i think that's going to be something that 2022 businesses have to really keep an eye on and, and use that as kind of a baseline right there's so much going on so you know a lot of people talk about technology um, changing, evolving at a rapid pace. You mm-hmm. know, what mm-hmm. maybe was around for 10 years is now only going to be around for one year and vice yeah. versa. So yep. um, as things change, as things evolve, as as the way we operate evolves, as humans develop and um, businesses develop, figuring out what's urgent versus important is a yes. huge ticket. It can be important, but not urgent. Yes. And I think building off of that, um, everything has felt and probably yeah. honestly been... Yep urgent yeah one urgent thing after another from just the pandemic itself to the consequences of quarantine and um you know who knows what's going to happen with the economy and inflation i think anybody paying attention Mm -hmm. to the news sees what inflation has been and where that so it's probably going to continue to feel very urgent yeah Yeah. and and we can get overwhelmed um we can become kind of addicted um to dealing with the urgent and 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 by doing that i'm not saying that urgent isn't important because there are some urgent things that are important, but we have to, as you're alluding to, um, discern what are the important urgent issues and deal with those. And some of them are just urgent, urgently urgent, like ringing phones and emails. We don't always have to always have to deal with that. And so, uh, being smart and discerning about figuring out what are the important things. So moving forward to 2022, Handling the urgent things that are important, but focusing on those things that are truly important, yeah, like the relationship building, process yeah. improvement, innovation, those types. And, of things. and I might be jumping ahead a little bit here, but that also has to do with um, being reactive yes. to everything. Yep. Yep. You know, yeah. Absolutely. We got to stop being reactive and be a little more proactive yeah. and yeah. filtering out. No this, doubt. It's going to help. Yeah. Um, so we got wake up. We got uh, urgent versus important. Number three is is um, vision versus goals. Yes. And and we want to say that you've been oversold on goals. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Provocative statement incoming. Provocative. Yeah, I- exactly. So a lot of people have been sold on the importance of goal. And I'm not knocking goal sending, but goal setting in the absence of having a vision or a destination can create a... Um, a kind of a meaningless satisfaction of checking the oh I did this 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 I got my goals yeah. done today yep. where's it leading me I'm not quite sure <laughs> yeah exactly I was <laughs> I got productive my ta- I got my goals done to, for yeah, me. yeah exactly yeah. if you have a vision set goals are the building blocks to that mm-hmm. that vision that you have but taking the time to figure out um, where do I want to be so 
this New Year's Eve, yeah. you should be thinking about where you want to be next New Year's Eve. Um, what's that destination look like? Yeah. Who are the people around you? What are the things that, um, that are going to be important to be in your life at that time? And, and same with strategic planning. When you figure out where you want to be, um, then it's like, what are the steps to get you there? Those yeah, becomes exactly. your goals and objectives. Yeah. Like the, like the old saying, like you, um, you can have, you can like start down a path, but if you don't know your destination, how are you supposed to get there? Exactly. You know, it's kind of like the thing with having a, having like, okay, I want to go to the store, but I don't know how to get there either. Yeah, right. It's like when you have one, you'll, you'll get the other. Yeah, exactly. So provocative statement, uh, you've been oversold on goals. Stop setting yep. goals. Um, Start building a vision. Take the yep. time to figure out where you want to be. So that's yep. number three for yep. 2022. Um, second most important thing of 2022 is, should be no surprise coming from this business. Communication. Yep, absolutely. That I mean, that in some cases, that should be very obvious to a lot of people. Right. And in other cases, we hope that that's a surprise to some people. Exactly. And when we talk about communication, um, we can hear your collective eyes rolling. Like, yeah, oh yeah. my gosh, are you serious, you guys? Here's what we're talking about as far as communication. Yeah, how can communication be a trend or an objective or a you yep. know uh, a move for 2022? Exactly. One of the one of the the late concepts, the, or the 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 jingles that I've used with clients is pull. There's pushing and there's pulling. Pushing yep. is typically talking and telling and explaining and defending and being offended or whatever. That's a very 2021 kind of thing. Yeah. A 2022 kind of thing is to ask questions, to be prepared for your communication, to have questions ready, provocative, thought-provoking, value-based questions. Yeah, you can ask open-ended questions uh, or open-ended questions. You can ask yes or no questions, but those are all different types of questions to develop a better understanding. You want to say? Yeah. You know, I was, we were talking about this the other day about how when it comes to strategy or communication, it shouldn't be about the exclamation points. Yes. It should be about the sentences that end in a question mark. Yes. And in some cases, the period. Wow. That's, I can't believe you just did that. That's really good. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I mean, it's so true. And, and you know, the elephant of the room, communication isn't what it once was because now so many people are hybrid, remote. There's not as much in person. I mean, communication has to be a goal. Okay. That's fighting for number one on the 2022 list. Yeah. And, and I'm kind of joking around, but I, I really do want to be serious here, Adam. Say what you just said again, because folks, the what what he just said is a very key concept of overall communication at any point in any year with any relationship. But yeah, a lot louder for the people in the back. Yes. <laughs> um, whether it's strategy, communication, whatever you can adapt this kind yeah. of principle or yeah. this this uh, thing to to either of those, it should not be about the exclamation points your progress your vision your way of getting somewhere should not be about the exclamation points it should be about the sentences that end in question marks and in some cases the ones that end in periods yes and the the benefits of thinking acting and communicating in question marks is the other people the other person the mm -hmm. other party the employees the customer feels understood yep. which is a wonderful place for people to be because when we feel understood we feel safe we feel comfortable and confident about the person that's giving us that sensation so mm -hmm. that's number one is people feel understood the second thing that question marks do when used on a regular basis is it clarifies too many times there is different meanings around words. Mm -hmm. Then there's a hilarious, and maybe we'll, we'll post it at some point. It's a, it's an Irish comedian that talks about the word shit mm -hmm. and how, you know, bad it is when somebody says, you know, that's a piece of shit. That's a bad thing. But when you're the shit, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. a good thing. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yep. So, which, go, which goes to another point of assumptions. It's, you know, that's a, that's a whole other thing too. Like don't assume, ask the question. Yeah, yeah you know? absolutely. So ask the questions. yeah, I'm really glad, honestly, yeah. just from me to you right now, forgetting that yeah, there, yeah. I'm so glad that you brought up the question mark versus yeah. the exclamation point. That's a, uh, that's a great point. As and it and this kind of, this kind of is a good transition to our number one, which I won't give that away yet. But one of the things I do with, um, you know, people that I work with or, you know, myself included, this is something everybody should be doing in their own head is asking themselves the questions. What I call it is just playing the loop, mm -hmm. right? Say you 
feel like you have something figured out. Like, okay, you have this ad. Okay, the best color palette is going to be blue. Yeah. Play that loop in your head. Is it blue? Give me three reasons why it could be red. Yeah. Give me, you know what I mean? Just yeah. make sure you're getting to the best possible solution by asking yourself more questions, yeah. by asking your co- your cohorts, your leaders, your mentors, ask more questions. Yeah. So um, I think you just took that whole speaking in question marks versus exclamation points and you applied it to yourself that we all have conversations in our own head. And I think that's a great, very mm-hmm. relevant, um, damn near powerful point is that ask yourself questions. Yeah. Um, I think they call that discernment. So sometimes when we think we absolutely know, ask anyway, consider other options anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's awesome. And um, so number round, one. Round us off. Number yeah, one. Number number one for 2022. You want to take it? Relationships. Yeah. Relationships. Relationships. And, um, you know, again, you might be collectively rolling your eyes, but. Don't um, let this one glaze over. Right. Two, I mean, this this is number one for a reason. Yeah. You know? um, the, first and foremost, and, and some of my clients who watch this or our clients will, will roll their eyes, but then first and foremost, the most important relationship is the relationship you have with yourself. Um, you know, how do you talk to yourself? How are you encouraging yourself? How are you evaluating yourself, holding yourself accountable, um, acting with integrity, thinking in terms yes. of, of truth and facts. And so making sure that that relationship is corny as that might be for some, uh, it's never been more important because there's a lot of stuff going on in life. Second thing is those most important people. We like to call those your most critical relationships. If you don't know right now, who are the most important, most critical relationships in your life? Spend some time in the next few days, next mm-hmm. couple of weeks, considering who, who are the most important relationships. We like to say that the quality of our life depends on the quality of those relationships. You know, we live up or down to the expectation of those with whom we live and work. That that's it. And so those exactly. critical, those most important relationships make our life incredibly high quality or low quality and stressful. One of the reasons why this is number one too is because in 2021 we saw a shift in people realizing what true priorities were, yeah. what true relationships could be, yeah. and what's important in their life. That's right. why the great resignation happened. That's why, like, like I kind of said when we started this, you're going to see a pattern throughout all yeah. of these when you truly dissect all these points, whether it's the top five, yes, you know that we learned, or the top five, which from, are really four. Yeah, <laughs> four, four, <laughs> five sounds better. Four and a half, five. We'll call it five. <laughs> we make the rules. It's fine. That's right. Uh, <laughs> and then looking forward to the top five business resolutions yeah, of 2022 yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? whatever you want to call it the business objectives moves um the top five they're they're more connected they are than, they than are. that surface level and and that relationships and what's important and um you know going with your gut and all of these things they're all really connected and that's yeah. I, that's one thing that i personally want people to look forward to in 2022 is is getting more aligned with those items and, and how important relationships are to communication, yeah. to following your gut, to realizing what's important to the toxic things in your life to, yes. you know what I mean? Yes, uh, absolutely. Right on down the line. Um, it, the relationship we, we said right off the bat, the relationship you have with yourself is critically important. The other thing that we candidly want to say is, is we've seen a lot from people. Okay. Uh, in what we've all been going through in business and life and politics, the, the whole social environment, mm-hmm. We have learned a lot about people, our friends, our associates, people in the community, neighbors that we didn't know before. And I I think it's fair and healthy and very appropriate to consider what we've learned about the people in our lives and to make decisions to um, get closer to some of those relationships that have been solid all along, but to cling to those in ways with more meaning and passion than we've ever had before. Um, In some cases, some important relationships might be challenging or stressful or strained right now. And to make some good decisions to see, is that still a relationship that's worth our time and effort, our energy and emotions? Is it still worth our time? Mm -hmm. Are we getting not, and I don't say what I'm about to say selfishly, but are we getting a return on that investment that we're putting in. And then the third scenario is some of those relationships, we might have learned things where it's probably not in our best interest or our families or our businesses yeah. to continue those relationships. And you know that alludes to following your heart. You know yeah. Some of those relationships as inconvenient um, and just kind of stressful as it might be, making decisions to, I think Dr. Phil says, to sunset. <laughs> it's yeah. t- time to let those ones go. Yeah, yeah. you bet. Yeah. yeah.
Yeah, so that's the uh, the number one takeaway or or opportunity for uh, 2022. Yep, exactly. I think that's a good good spot to end. I mean, it was, so we gave them five that we looked back at 2021. Yeah, have five to look forward to in 2022. Episode 18 is next. Stay tuned. Yeah, yeah stay tuned. And without being too corny, because I know there's yeah. people watching, but I think that. Um, we, we've acted on some of this stuff the relationships I, I can't I mean honestly I can't tell you how good 2021 is yeah. because of the relationship we have and yeah. the quality of the communication and just incredibly excited about uh, 2022 with you man so yeah. no, thank I'm you for everything too. and looking forward to Absolutely. a big year coming yeah me too yeah. awesome thanks Steve thanks for tuning in as always we'll see you guys take care